as naturally fractured slabs of rock of various sorts, but all generally from that Preseli area. So you've got dolerites, you've got rhyolites, you've got volcanic ashes, all from that same area. And they're just simply brought here as slabs and set up in this circle. One thing you do have to bear in mind is that there would have been a huge contrast between these stones. Those sarsens would have been very, very pale, sort of straw, creamy colour. They would also have glistened because of the mica in them. These stones would have been a much greyer, blue-grey colour. So there would have been more of a colour contrast than you can see today. So we've got sarsen circle, bluestone circle, and then inside that we've got those two horseshoes, the biggest of them of five sarsen trilithons, this word, trilithos, three stones. And you can see why I was ranting about that display, <laughs> that display panel there, because look at, the the look at the distance between those stones. Yeah. There are two very big flat slabs with a tiny gap in between yeah. them and the lintel spanning the whole thing. They're very different to the outer structure where the gaps are much wider. So we've got one complete one there, one complete one there, surviving up right there with its lintel lying on the ground there with the two massive mortise holes in it. Another one there which fell over in 1797 and was put up again in the 1960s. The whole thing was flat on the ground. And then the ruins of another one here. <laughs> so five of them in a horseshoe with the open end pointing in that direction. This is that crucial alignment, midsummer, midwinter, which we'll talk about a bit more in a minute. Do you remember explaining last night as well about the graduated sizing? And that's the way they would have marched down there apparently, because the avenue continues out past that stone. And I'm very happy to be inside. Would you like to come back inside Stonehenge? It's a very rare occasion, courtesy of Lindham Heritage. I'm going to take you in again. Private tours only. Different sorts of stones. If you look around, you've got a very nice smooth stone and a rougher one. A smooth one and a rougher one. Smooth rough, smooth rough, and this was smooth rough. Now, it's quite deliberate, but what does it mean? Some people have suggested that it's maybe a male-female juxtaposition. You know, the tall, elegant ones are the males. Lumpy and misshapen by the female ones. Dangerous thing to say, isn't it? Yeah. You're outnumbered. I know, I know, I'm in trouble now. But, you know, there's, there's definitely... A, a deliberate element to this and we'll see this again at Avebury tomorrow where they've chosen different shapes of stones and juxtaposed them around the circles and down the line of the avenue.